Hey guys, and welcome back to Blue Stinger. When we last left off, we had managed to uh, get back to the main shop. And we were going to go shopping. Oh yeah, we also got our lightsaber doodad, didn't we? Yes, the ray sword, which is uh, pretty freaking amazing, actually. Now, <clears throat> this guy's weird. Like, he absolutely will not get up at all. Which is really strange. Maybe I should put a round in his head. Get up, you fucker. Come on. There we go. Ah, oh, really? Really? He just had to get that hit on me, didn't he? He had to do it. He had to... Uh, uh, he had to be the dominant one. Well, more for him, I guess. Right, so let's have a little walk up to the elevator. Uh, I suppose, actually, we could go to the gun shop, too. It's a shame that big guy doesn't spawn here. That would be fun. Um, now I'm trying to think what weapons we need. Really, we don't need many weapons. I mean, we're pretty crazily armed, to be fair. We have everything we need. <laughs> and wow, I just got turned around in here. Hey, is that dude still here? No, I don't think he is. I think he went back. To the office maybe I could be completely wrong about that I think I am completely wrong about that anyway let's go to the gun shop yeah 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 we have more than 3,000 bucks yes we do ah cash sensors what a crazy and wonderful futuristic world they live in oh this Christmas music ah yes this Christmas music is driving me mental and, <laughs> funny enough, um, Reaver of Jill Sandwiches sent me quite the interesting video. Let's get some uh, Gatling gun magazines, just because that seems like a smart thing to do. We will need the Gatling gun later on. Uh, yeah, Reaver of Jill Sandwiches sent me an interesting podcast about awful uh, Christmas music. And it was really freaking good. If I remember, I will link it into the video in the description. If I remember. So we're going to top off on some ammo, really. I mean, 120 millimeter missiles. Flame ammo is useful. Uh, also, those are. Trouble is, the good ammo is expensive. Uh, really expensive, to be honest. I don't know if it's going to leave us much money at all, actually. Holy shit. The 120 millimeter missiles are so good. And those alone have basically drained our wallets. That was unfortunate, actually. I thought we would spend that and get some good stuff. But actually, you know, it's not really much of a waste, I suppose. Because this ammo is good. It's really good. Um, I can't even remember what weapons we don't have, to be honest. I mean, those are pretty rubbish. That's awesome, but we already have it. We could potentially buy the T-shirt, but there's no point. I mean, in my original um, LP, I did actually have all of these weapons. The laser gun's okay. Well, I mean, it's all right. It's not as good as it should be. Uh, what else is there here? Yeah, the ray gun is like 8 million and sold out. It is pretty damn beasty. But, uh, you can't get it unless you complete the game like X amount of times. We're going to leave it at that then. I mean, we've pretty much spent all of our money. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, so much of rolling in weapons and whatnot. I guess not. Weapons are so expensive in this game and the grinding is so extreme now this weapon is r uh, crazy powerful um but it's useless and maybe at the end of this game i will show off some yeah i'll tell you what at the end of the game i'll show off some of these more unique weapons i'll keep this safe then we can buy food hamburgers are really good because they will completely fill up our energy bar I can't even remember what the wrestling t-shirt does. I think, um, like, we do some kind of, like, flying kick at the enemy or some shit. 
it's kind of fun, kind of silly, kind of very, you know, blue stinger. I think that's fair to say. Now, I think we've got to go back and see Janine. Because everything down here is done. And we've gone shopping. We've got a nice little selection of weapons. Let's go wake this guy up and go shake him down for some more pennies. Get up, you bastard. There we go. He always seems to get those hits on us. Really annoying. Now, unfortunately, with this weapon, you can't attack down with it. It only attacks uh, horizontally. So if anything is on the floor, then you're kind of shit out of luck, really, with it. Oh, God. Do we really need that much shotgun ammo? Probably not. Is that a waste of uh, spending power? Yes, most likely. The shotgun is just utter ass, to be fair. Which is a shame. I really wish it wouldn't be such utter ass. But there we go. I always like a good shotgun in games. And generally as a rule, if you want a good shotgun in a video game, you go to Resident Evil. Because Resident Evil has the best shotguns. Even in like RE7, um, which was a very... I don't know. Very medical Resident Evil game. The more I think about it. It had a very satisfying shotgun. Dude, come here. Thank you. God, you suck. Well, we actually got kind of like a combo going on him. And there's my money. Money, money. All right, let's go back and see Janine. I'm pretty sure we're supposed to be doing something for her now. Uh, passable to next area. Well, that's good. I like it when we are passable to next area. Oh, man. Oh, hey, sir. Really? Uh, you know, this ray sword... I don't know about this ray sword. It's, it's more powerful than the stun baton, for sure. But, the problem with it is, it's quite slow. Oh wow, that was cool. Because I'd sliced off that arsehole's arm. He actually couldn't hit me. Hmm. Tempted to switch back to the stun rod. I don't know though. I'm not sure. We have a lot of uh, choices. Right, we don't want to go in that way. There we go. That'll do. That'll do. Yeah, maybe the stun... Um, Stun baton is better against the uh, faster enemies. I mean, not that any enemy in this game is really that much faster than the others, but the kind of more basic level ones do seem to move slightly faster than the bigger guys. Not by much, admittedly, but then the movement and, and combat in this game is very slow anyway. Now, let's go see Janine and see if she's got anything for us pretty sure she's meant to tell us where to go next. At least all this stuff doesn't come back. These tentacles and whatnot. Uh, yeah, that's cool. I was going to say, am I even going the right... No, we're not going the right way. I'm being stupid again. That was almost annoying. Yeah, we want to go this way. Because we've just come from Lab Town. Hang on, no, that's Lab Town. Wait a minute. Yeah, we've gone the wrong way again. Ah, one second, guys. Who is it? Elliot. What's the code? Yeah, get on with it, Elliot. Come yeah, on. Right, okay, so after getting turned around, I did kind of remember the way to go. I don't know why I'm finding it so difficult to find my way back to Janine's place. That's really freaking weird. Anywho, Take care. pretty sure there we go. We can fiddle with something. Hmm. What's the blue blinking light represent? I don't know. I can't identify it. How do you get into the research lab? 
I'm sure you can get in with Chris's ID. I wonder if this blue light is the cause of the disaster. It could well be, guys. Is this one of your hunches again? I'm not twisting your arm to come with me. Don't be a smart ass kid. <laughs> the electricity's back on. I can unlock the run road and open the door to the car. It's a lot safer to use the car. That sounds reasonable. Merry Christmas. Oh. It's now the 25th. This is the worst Christmas I ever ah, had. Ah, come on. Damn, it's my payday. <laughs> I really like that, dogs. Did you miss a date tonight? No way. Let's go. To the bank? No, to the place where the blue light's at. Call me when you need me, Janine. Yeah, we're going to go... <laughs> all of that, and yes, we are actually going to go back to the bank. Because we're going to go empty out Take Elliot's care. cash. So, I'll catch you guys in a minute. Right, let's go get us some fat, juicy cash. Uh, yeah, we're going to use Elliot's ATM, and it's 35, 32, I think. Oh, yeah, two grand. So that is it. We've literally just drawn out our entire month's salary, which we're going to go and blow on rubbish. Uh, <laughs> handgun magazines and, you know, maybe steak plates. No, handgun magazines and energy drinks. Sounds like a good time to me. Anyway, guys, I'll meet you back uh, at Janine's place. Hey, guys, and we're back. Right, so <clears throat> we're not quite at Janine's, but I, out of curiosity, just want to see where this goes because I can't remember. And I actually went here by accident, and it takes us to a tentacle corridor. And where there's tentacles, there is unexplored areas. Now, I'm pretty sure, right, yeah, I remember. Oh, yeah, look at those things. Oof. Yeah, I remember. Now, we can't actually hit them, Sal. So yeah, we can hit these things. Sweet. Look at these ugly bastards. Well, I mean, we, we could hit them a minute ago. Now we can. There we go. It's a little bit inconsistent. Not sure why Elliot is suffering smooth brain syndrome here. Okay, well, sometimes he can hit them, sometimes he can't. Yeah, this is where we go to the apartment area, I think. Really? Why can't you hit them, Elliot? They're literally right there, you silly man. God damn it. Okay. You don't have a card for this door. Yeah. So, okay. Back to Janine's then. One second, guys. I'll catch you in a second. Right, now that's more like it. So, where are we going? I think we're going to go back to the run road now. And she should have opened up the lab area, which I can't remember where exactly that was. I know there's a turn off here somewhere. But hey, who cares, man? As long as we get to waste some alien assholes along the way, it doesn't really matter. There's the car. Yes! Give me the car, give me the car, give me the car. Ooh. Alright. You used the car key. Excellent. Look how chunky that car looks, man. I bet that would be like loads of fun to actually uh, use. Definitely much better than getting lasered in the ass. Oof. Nice. I guess we can use the car again. Again, to get back if we wanted question mark I mean maybe not hmm I don't know maybe not then I thought we could right anyway so here we are we're at the laboratory this is where shit gets real let's start exploring Ooh, this is a good part of the game actually something rather rough happens here uh, we have some options Let's have a look. We can go down here, see what this is. So many doors, so little time. Ooh. Oh, yeah, we got clean suits. I remember that. And there was a scantily uh, dressed young woman. Should change. Uh, somehow advertising Hassy, I suppose. Well, let's get changed. I can't fit into a size M. 
Hmm. I guess you'll have to go without you. Yeah, for now. That's a Do you think it's pain safe? in the ass. If not, we'll have to find a bigger size. Yes. Or maybe if we can't find a clean suit. I found something in my pocket. Can find something else. You found the lounge key. Yeah. Um, none of these fit, I suppose. That's a shame. It's a good thing. Well, let's just hope we don't have to outfit dogs with a outfit like that. That would be rather horrific, to be honest. I love this music. It's so good. Okay, uh, that's the way we came in. No, that's the way we came in. The freaking massive great big door. You used the lounge key. Well, that's good. So we can use the lounge key straight away. Man. It really went down in here, didn't it? Damn. And they are really marketing Hasi to these guys. Hell. Maybe this... Oh, there we go. This Santa's outfit is size LL. Hey, what are you suggesting? <laughs> It's perfect for you. <laughs> I guess I have no choice. No, you do not. Get on with it, dogs. <laughs> it suits you. <laughs> yeah, Santa smash. We should have got him the big club. You have a kid. I'll visit you from the chimney. Are you asking? That day might come Are soon. you demanding? That day might come... Elliot, hold on to your horses, man. Jesus. Right, let's see what we can buy here. Just generic food, which you would expect, I suppose. Um, what else? Oh, we can get the steak plates in all here, which I guess. This has got to be the most expensive cafeteria ever. Now, hamburgers... I have thought about buying a couple of those. They're not necessarily a bad shout because they do completely heal you in one shot, which is pretty good. There's nothing in any of these, really. Hussy. More like fucking hussy. Look at the way they're advertising this stuff. Jesus. Yep, it doesn't look like we're going to get anything interesting in these vending machines. Delicious snacks. Well, I'll be the judge of that. Well, that steak plate does look quite good, to be fair. Wow, hang on. Is that more expensive here? 24000 Wasn't it twenty? No, no, no. It was 24000 Because it cost more than uh, Elliot's monthly salary. Holy shit, man. Oh, I mean... What do you mean, cool? You stink. It's the smell which burns out. Really? Of course I'm joking, idiot. Watch it, you old <laughs> coot. Careful whose leg you're pulling. Stop babbling. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love how excited they are about having a nice hot bath. And and you know who could uh, who could blame them? So there, you can do your laundry there as well. Lovely, look at this. You can get nice and freshened up. What do you do if the monster attacks you while you're butt naked? I'll fight back, butt naked. Stop whining. Yeah, I agree with dogs. I'm not sure if this is such a good idea. Stop being a baby, Elliot. Get in there and have a fucking bath. In the tub yep. we go. Hey, this dog's checking me out. What's going on here? Jesus. This might be the last bath I can take. I see. Yes, this could be the last baths you gentlemen ever have. Unfortunately, I have no idea what he just said there because the audio balancing is so bad. I mean, I don't think that would be the most relaxing bath in the world anyway because the water is so deafeningly loud. I don't need to take a bath again. Oh, what? Can we not actually just like have a look in there? There are no like, items. No bar of soap on the floor. Not that you'd want to bend and pick it up, but you know what I'm saying. A soap on a rope. That's what we need. Soap on a rope. 
Right, well now we're all freshened up. We're looking good and we're smelling good. Let's get out of here. And let's take the final door. Ooh, this looks fancy. Clean check passed. You are now permitted to enter. Alright, well, that's good, I guess. Oh, super protein. I'm not going to be playing in the protein anytime soon. Experiment room is locked. Oh, man. You know, I really don't like this area for reasons. This area is filled with toxic gases. Do you want to enter? No, probably not a good idea. We need to find a gas mask for that. Now, the super protein, uh, we do need to go into that room in a minute, but not just yet. And there's a clone room there. Damn. Kiss room. Let's go check out the kiss room. Yep, just so I thought this is a save area. Well, that's cool. Let's go grab up the map and give it a save. I'm going to save on a different slot. Just so uh, at the end of the game we can show off some of the weapons. Because why the devil not? Uh, yeah, let's just save over there. That's fine. Hells yeah. There we go. Right, uh, see if we've got any goodies here. I mean, it's probably just ammo. Ammo could be useful. Can't carry any more of that. We can get some more railgun ammo. The railgun isn't a bad weapon. Not really. Uh, what else can we buy? Magazine for the handgun. <clears throat> Quite a few of those. Yeah, go for it. Can't have those. Ugh. I mean, I guess we'll top up on the shotgun just because we can. And if you can, you might as well, right? Acid tanks, plasma magazines, laser gun batteries. There's some juicy weapons. We don't have any of those weapons there. What's on the lone vending machine here? Ah. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Well then, I think we have to... Uh, well, wow, we're overlooking the element, ele element, the element in the room. Yes, we're overlooking the element in the room, which is protein. Ugh. Let's have a little look in here, shall we? Oh yeah. It's a freaking jelly. Right, let's get out of here. And if you're wondering if we have to fight this jelly, you'd be, you'd be right. And I guess actually. Wait, I was going to say, does this thing not hurt us? Oh, let's fry its ass anyway. Let's use the ray sword, I suppose. Oh, look at this thing. It's like a gelatinous mass of giblets. Well, come to Papa Elliot. Where are you, you little bastard? There we go. Ray sword for the win. Ugh, I wonder what this thing would smell like as its ass is cooking off. Probably wouldn't smell nice, that's for sure. Ugh. Try and aim for those organs there, Elliot. I do wonder, actually, if the uh, ray sword's doing that much damage to it. Well, at least, if nothing else, this ray sword should boil it away. Ooh, nice. The monster was holding something. Got the observation room key. Yeah. I hope you didn't uh, ingest any of that, Elliot. Right, let's get healed up because that was rather rough might as well use some large hassies and I think what we're gonna do is go back and save it again uh, if we go to weapons Elliot no items food I wonder if we're actually gonna run out of large hassies I mean, no, we're not. We're never going to run out of large houses. Why have they got this super protein here? What the hell has been going on? I mean, I suppose if you want to get swole, it's not a bad place to be. Look at all this, though. What are all these things? Ugh. Mm. You alright, buddy? What's wrong? I feel sick. I think I swallowed some of the monster blood. Oh, that's not good. You're meant to eat it, Elliot. Elliot, 
You look sick. I... I can't talk. Well... <laughs> we should look for some medicine. Uh, Can you walk? Yes. I don't think you're going to be having kids looking like that, Elliot. I'm just saying, buddy. Right, now, before we do anything, we're going to go save it. Because this bit is uh, a little bit of a pain in the butt, if I remember correctly. Because we have, like, I think we have just under an hour before Elliot mutates. Which is bad. Which is really bad. Uh, now, one thing that I do like about this whole thing is as he starts getting worse uh yeah as he starts getting worse he does start visually mutating into a bigger creature which is really freaking cool well i'm like 24 minutes we don't really have any time to do anything to be honest um so i might end it here because i've got to go pick up the missus oh god damn it i don't want to finish playing um Right, anyway guys, I am probably going to have to end it here uh, a little bit early today. But when we come back, I guess we're going to navigate this place. And we're going to have to get Elliot a cure. I have no idea what all this super protein is about. Or why it suddenly became, well, maybe not sentient. But it certainly became aware of itself and tried to eat Elliot. Which is kind of counterproductive for super protein. And we can go into here, which is cool. The door's already been unlocked, which is fantastic. Right, so guys, I'm going to end it here. And when we come back, we're going to explore, which is going to be fun. A very confusing part of the game. Uh, but there is a very fancy hidden weapon, apparently. Apparently. I don't think I ever got it last time. That you can only get in this area. And you can only get it whilst uh, Elliot is sick. So we are going to explore that. And hopefully find it. I'm going to do some research on it now because I don't want to miss it. But uh, we'll cover that in the next episode anyway guys. So thanks for watching. And as always, till next time.